sexy. I'm cute. I'm popular to boot. I'm bitchin'. Great hair. The boys I love to stare. have cliches about them about being ditzy and also always like the blonde bubbly girl which kind of drives me crazy but I was a cheerleader in eighth grade so I already knew a lot about the cheerleading experience the important thing about this movie is that we broke all those and really showed how hard these girls work and you know what fine athletes they are they're gymnasts and dancers this is like a sport and no one really realizes it and so I thought it was really important to make this film the kind of cheerleaders that we're portraying in the film it's on a such another level as far as the athleticism and the level of commitment I have absolutely nothing against cheerleaders I am in favor of them I think that cheerleading outfits should be mandatory we're the, the best we have fun, we work hard, and we win national championships. Lawrence really has a lot of growing up in this movie. She loses her squad, she gets it back, she loses. So it's really about her kind of getting them all together and really becoming a team and doing their best. These are not spirit fingers. I mean, the Clovers, they have a lot more drive because they've always been down and it's really their time to shine. There's a lot of tension with that, but I think that at the end there's a mutual respect from, especially with Isis and my character Torrent. We bring the flavor to the movie. I mean, you know, <laughs> what the Toros do is very traditional, um, very, you know, white bread, no pun intended, you know, cheerleading. East Compton, the girls, you, you're able to see their personalities more. We've got Latinas, we've got Asian Americans, we've got uh, biracial, multicultural. I think we each bring a little bit of our own culture and flavor to the squad. Cheerleading boot camp was actually about nine days. It was intense, uh, nine, ten hours a day, learning all the routines you see in the movie. We don't get any body doubles. We don't get any close, tight shots to kind of, you know, compensate for our lack of ability. Everything you see in the movie, we had to learn in those nine days. That includes stunting, all the choreography. I had a lot of Bengay, <laughs> a lot of massages. It was really intense, because we didn't want to make a mockery of this sport. We wanted to try to show these, the, what these people do in the, in the truest, Light. In the boot camp, not only did we learn the dancing and the choreography, but we learned how to trust each other and how to be a team and how to, you know, make this movie work. It just boils down to the fact that it's pretty amazing athleticism, if you ask me. And just to watch it was a treat, you know? I mean, watching these people get tossed up in the air and, you know, these weird balancing acts with the hands. It was just cool, you know? It was a great time. You get a movie like this where just physically it was so much work and it paid off though. I mean, we are all so excited, all my girls in the movie and everyone is just so excited for the movie because we did it and we feel like no matter what, whether the movie does great or it does horrible, whatever happens, this was our goal and we did it and we're all so proud of it. having fun and so for those Mickey scenes I mean they, they had us learn the whole dance routine the night before and we were all going oh great you're throwing this on it's last minute and we got in there the next day and the whole day we're like doing the pony across the stage and it was, it was so much fun they came at us with that uh, towards the end of the shoot they were like by the way here's a tape of Mickey we'd like you to memorize the lyrics we're gonna do a little dance number and here's me going I didn't sign up for like the cheer camp, like uh, what's going on, what do I have to do with this? We just had, you know, as much fun with it as we could. Mickey, oh my god, I had so much fun doing that. And I I saw a little pieces of it when we were looping and it, I don't know, we just had so much fun all together on it and I just had such a goofy time and I even had my hair in the little pink tails, like I loved it. There was no pressure to nail the routine and get it right, we just were able to kind of like be ourselves. Because Isis is so driven and so uptight and like so, ugh, you know, you just kind of want to go, let your hair down to such a friend, you know, just, it's okay, breathe. We had a blast. We had a blast. Thirsty for more celeb news? Make sure you subscribe to the E! News YouTube channel so you can stay informed on all the breaking updates. Come on, you know you want to be the first to know about all the latest hookups, breakups, arrests, and so much more.